Welcome to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, and it's great to have you here as always. This is the second part of a two-part series reviewing the Meccano Max, the amazing AI robot by Spin Master. If you haven't seen part one, please check it out. I will include the link in the description below. And if you're staying to watch this episode, just get ready. It's going to be a fun episode, a lot of things to cover, so let's get started. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Tell me my fortune. Tennis is a fun game to play with Max, but I wanted a more informed opinion. So I've visited with the Pleasant Prairie Elementary School Robotics Club. The experts there were willing to spend some time with me and Max and give me some of their opinions and try them out. Let's see what happened. <clears throat> Oh. Let's play a game. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. What game would you like to play? I know what you'd rather. Do you truths tell a lie? Are you smarter than a robot? And for the smarts. Just let me know. Are you smarter than a robot? Are you ready to play? Are you smarter than a robot? After a quick game of rock, paper, scissors to figure out who's going to go first, the experts were ready to test. Are you smarter than a robot? Getting the robotics club perspective is so important to me, but at the same time, Max has so much more to give. We didn't want to miss anything. So with that, I invited back Trey, Avery, and Bailey, who have helped me before in the past, along with some new friendly faces that have never seen Max before. So here, I reveal Max for the very first time. Let's see what happened. Oh, I remember those. Real. Wow. What? Is, okay. is that is that the button? Look it. See if it works. Whoa. Okay. He's red. Oh. Ooh. Ah. Hey, Max. Hey, what's up? Let me introduce you. Sure. Who am I going to meet? Bailey. Okay. Hey, Max. Hey, what's up? Let's play a game. Okay. You don't have to ask me twice. What game would you like to play? I know what you'd rather. Two truths and a lie. Are you smarter than a robot? And robo tennis. Two Just let me know. Two truths and a lie. So you think you can have wit little sex, huh? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I 
this game, I will propose three facts. But here's the catch. One of them will be a lie. <laughs> it will be up to you to figure out which fact is a lie. Use the red, green, and yellow buttons on my mecha brain to select which fact you think is a lie. I will repeat the facts after a few seconds if you don't press the button. There are no teams in this game. It's just the humans versus the robots. First of five wins. Are you ready? Yes. Let's enter the battlefield of our minds and do this. Some skeletons have been known to come to life. B. Easter Island is a real island. Or C. Saltwater taffy contains no salt water.
Of course Max can't dance, I wouldn't have it any other way. If you didn't get a chance to see him dance in his very own Smart Robots Review dance video, make sure you check that out. I'll have that link down below. Alright, so we have our three focus groups. They had a chance to spend some time with Max. Let's see what they had to say. What did you guys like about um, Max? I liked the games. The games. Yeah, yeah. And the intelligent. Yeah. When I first saw it, I realized this looks perfect. like a virtual reality headset. It does. Really so, what did everybody like about the robot? I liked its facial expressions and like how it was sarcastic. <laughs> I like how I like the games it played and how it and how it was programmed to play the games with us. I like about it is because it's pretty good at telling stuff and and so smart, but not that smarter than humans or anything. <laughs> Josh, there are sensors and all those stuff I like to do. Josh, what is your favorite? Whoa, what you there? That's for instance, that makes only. Oh, Joshua, what did you like about the robot? You liked the dancing? What was yeah. your favorite game? What was your favorite part of the robot? Oh, you like dancing with him? <laughs> yeah. He well, was, you know, the last time we played Teenage Truth for the Lie, I was going easy on you. I'm down for a rematch whenever you are. I wow. like his sense of humor. Yeah. I, that's, he seems pretty um it seems like he is real Social. relatable yeah you know like it's relatable his humor he's like having another child yeah another a little bit another. yeah he's, smarter. he's funny i like funny so robots being funny makes me want to continue playing with them just to hear what else he's gonna say next um i like he's cute i like how he um interacts with you and he like says like hey yo humans and like stuff like that and hey that's yo, what funny do you want? He's funny, oh, and um, his jokes are kind of um, cheesy. <laughs> like the games he played are like cool games, like Two Truths and a Lie I like the best because like we get to pick which one we want, like we don't get like one answer or two. It's really fun, I like it. Yeah. Cool. I love hearing the unique perspectives from all my contributors. So that was great. All right, let's move on to the application, which is available on the Android and iOS store. The application establishes a Bluetooth connection with Max, and you can use the phone as your remote control. The application also gives you the ability to play built-in sound effects. You can record your very own sound effects. Full range of motion is available. You can close and open the claw, tilt the head left and right. Everything you need to remote control Max is here. Another great feature built into the app is the ability to create custom faces for Max. So many options, so little time. And here's the best part. As long as your phone is five inches or less in length, you can replace the LED matrix with your phone. Here I'm using an iPhone 6S with a protective case, while an iPhone 7 Plus without a case did not fit. Ooh, fun and games! Would you like me to list commands? Okay, listen up! Let's DJ Max. Let's dance. Tell me a joke. Tell me a fun fact. Tell me my fortune. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. Two truths and a lie. Ah, you really think you can outsmart me? Let's go for it. In this game, I will propose three facts. But here's the catch. One of them will be a lie. <laughs> All right, now for the best part of the application. Here, you can send instructions to Max using the programming tool. You can create custom programs with precision control of his motors. You have full access to his infrared sensors. You can write some interesting programs using logic and obstacle avoidance. Yes, it's not a full IDE, but you don't need that. It's perfect for a robot like this, easy to access. You can save your programs 
what else can you ask for? And last but not least, you have full access of Max's instructions, just in case the manual is misplaced, which that never happens, of course. And you have full access to every page. You can zoom in and out. Fantastic. The only thing I would add here would be perhaps uh, alternative builds for Max and other Meccanos. And with that, I give you Meccano Max, the star of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Meccano Max is just a tremendous achievement for Spin Master. I only have one of those. Just a lot of fun to work with. I think uh, he is sure to draw a child from across the room running using his charm, his endearing qualities, his reactions, his facial expressions. Uh, he's just a lot of fun, but it's all trickery because he'll draw you in with all the games and his charisma and then teach you something. What a concept, right, for an educational toy? Uh, I love it. Uh, just uh, well done, Spin Master. Uh, it will challenge you from the build process. I promise it will challenge you from the build process, especially if you haven't built a Meccano product before. Then uh, you have so much more to explore. You can uh, play with his games. You can uh, program him. The sky's the limit. There are alternative builds for this guy. In fact, I'm going to try uh, one alternative build I saw online on the Meccano site. So stay tuned for that. Why does this always happen with me? I should get the hint, right? <laughs> I'm putting him to sleep again. Alright, so... With that, the only criticism I would give uh, Max here would be uh, his speaker and his microphone. Sometimes you are speaking directly to him, but yet he does not understand you. Uh, and other times, uh, he'll be speaking, but you can't hear him because his wheels are spinning and the sound is just overlapping. So something to consider on the next revision if there is going to be one. Uh, or a cool um, do-it-yourself uh, improvement project on Max, I mean, this is what he's all about after all, isn't he? But that may avoid your warranty, I don't know. <laughs> Seriously though, just uh, a great learning platform for any parent that's interested in getting a uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics platform for their child or any child out there 10 or over interested in a fun robot that will be loads of fun to play with and learn with. That is Max. Spin Master, thank you so much for sending me Max. He is the most underrated robot of 2017 and there's so much more of him uh, that can be on tw in 2018. So uh, please uh, go out there, consider picking him up. Uh, he's very reasonably priced. I think right now he's on sale for $119 at, uh, on Amazon. I'll, I'll list the link below. Uh, he usually retails at $149 but the price fluctuates. So um, check him out, highly recommend him. A great robot, possibilities are endless with this little fella. And with that, the opinion that matters the most is your opinion. I hope you enjoyed episode one and two of Max, and I'd uh, love to hear your feedback, your comments, your experiences with Max, if you have Max at your home, or if you have any questions about getting him, let me know, I'd love to hear all that below. Remember to click subscribe, that helps me out tremendously. I appreciate that in advance. Click the like button if you enjoyed the show. And tell your friends and family about the show. So many more robots coming up and a lot more fun to come exploring them. And until next time, thank you for watching. Smart Robots Review.